January 7th, 2014. We're looking at earth facing images from Lasco C3, guys, in the blue image. A couple of things happening here. We, in the earlier part of the day, we had the M7.2, and then this afternoon we had the X flare. Now, what's happening? You see Mercury in the bottom going left, Venus in the top coming in, and it will have a slightly upward angle because it's not exactly uh, parallel with our ecliptic. It has an upward tilt. Now, there's something interesting about that shot and that alignment as we saw that flare come out. Here again, 1824 this afternoon is when the uh, satellite started picking it up. It's a stereo ahead. There's your flare. But on that alignment that you saw with Mercury and Venus, remember that was Earth-facing satellite. <clears throat> so Earth's in that alignment and Jupiter's behind us. One of the Russian uh, scientists warned us to watch for this alignment in this period of time with ice sun's debris over us and that planetary alignment and its effect on the tectonic plates, earthquakes. This is stereo behind. Now this is Lasco C2, Earth facing. Now these are not part of the uh, MPEG movie yet, they're, but they're crystal clear. They haven't added them. And it'll go in <clears throat> It's amazing to watch this. It's Earth-facing. And you're going to notice the particles that are being blasted at the Earth become more and more energized. You see it, uh, all these speckles, guys. As we go through, and I'm going to go up into, I think, around 2200 hours, UTC was the last incoming here at 2202. Now, 2200 is 10 o'clock at night, 10 o'clock a.m., I mean, excuse me, p.m., now, these are the latest straight images of the solar disk. Now, notice, uh, notice that 1944 in the center is actually becoming three groups. That center one and the one to the right is where we had the X flare. But notice that third group there, how it's enlarging. And the one above it we watched is uh, also double configurated. Check this out. The M72 is an impressive flare this morning, but we had one at the small flare above. One, the 7.2, then this one at 1832 UT. It was X1 solar flare from 1944. They're saying it's also has a coronal mass ejection, double whammy. I'll show you why, guys. But check that out, this out. These are amazing images. The majesty of God and the power of God. He can do what he wants to when he wants to. He can take what he wants out when he's ready. But just take a glance around the entire sun and look at what's coming on the left side. Again, amazing flares. One, two, three today. Top. It's like a triangle starting at the top. Show you a close-up of this. That's magnetic lines. We're triple configurated with this group, and it seems to be growing. We're still in the 1400s. But, guys, when they did that um, SSS or the Sunspot Summary, it was earlier today in that third section of this there was not as predominant, the one that caused the 7.2, but it it's beginning to wake up. And again, on the left side of the sun, we got to watch that. But this, guys, is a triangle of trouble right here. We've got to watch this. We, <clears throat> we're seeing them intertangle. You see that? If this becomes one group and we have an arc of an X-flare, from the top to the bottom, again, it will be Earth-facing. Check this out. This is your ACE proton chart. The satellites are picking up. Now, when it first came in, I didn't have all of this information. Now, that's your Boulder X-ray flux. You can see there, X1. Now, we're still in an uptick. Notice the angle of both the red and blue, different wattage and meter square. Check that out. Now, your plasma density, radial speed, and temperature. The density picked up. The radial speed or your your solar wind speed here picked up and the temperature picked up from that blast. Now, guys, the uh, tracker on our Enlil solar wind predictor, check this out, guys. This flare was long and it's wide. In other words, it took a long time to erupt and it make, increased the width. Now, notice right there, 8 at 1,200 hours, it's going to hit Mercury tomorrow on the 8th, and I will break this time down. Then, in six hours later, it's at the Earth, still encompassed at the Earth. You see that by midnight. So we're going to have, listen, several hours of impact, whether it's an, uh, solar, a solar storm, whatever it is. And notice the planets lining up, Mercury, 
Venus, Earth, and Jupiter's behind all of that. And look at the width and the expansion of this blast and what it does to the magnetic lines of force that come from the sun to each of the objects. Very strong blast. You can pause this, guys, and check out those times. Now, tomorrow, for you guys that watch this and do it, does um, the videos, keep an eye on the magneto pause. Earth is in the center in the white and black dot. Of course, the white side is the sun-facing side. When that starts coming in, remember um, tomorrow at, um, at around uh, 1,200 hours, excuse me, yeah, 1,200 hours UTC time, we're going to start seeing impacts. This is one way to record it right here. And those two satellites that go around it, the GOES 14 and 13, from, uh, will be picking this up as well as the uh, CMOS from South Korea satellite in the triangle. So watch that. Now, this is the proton flux that this morning we saw, excuse me, the last two days we've seen these blasts. Remember the last, the one yesterday with that huge coronal mass ejection? You saw that, and then you saw the pickup. But here's what we got, beta, gamma, delta on 1944. 1946 above it is beta, gamma. 40% chance of X flares just from 44. Overall, 50% chance of X flares strong now here's that alignment mercury venus the earth the moon's there to the left and uh, as i back this out you'll see that jupiter's here now again a, a russian scientist had mentioned this and during this time to watch it and i remember years ago reading about it, edgar casey and some of the things they talked about tectonic plates and planetary alignments now did you notice today's date the seventh eighth you're still kind of in that alignment. Actually, uh, Jupiter and Mercury and Earth are tighter in alignment tomorrow. If there's a magnetic con a gravitational connection that would put any additional force on the tectonic plates of the Earth, everything's under pressure, we know, from the X-flare, from the volcanic activity, the tilt of the Earth, the, the stress is there. The Earth is moaning and groaning. And then a Saturn is going to be out there by itself, not part of that alignment. We'll deal with that after we go through the debris trail. And guys, but uh, it's going to be an interesting time. Again, tomorrow uh, in the morning a.m., I'll have a video up with the latest on the arrival time. A lot of times when you see that magneto pulse, excuse me, the flare tracker, it could be a plus or minus seven hours on the uh, estimated time of arrival. But that thing's moving fast. So watch the magneto pause and watch the earthquakes. Heads up, be safe.